Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Dennis. So if you're returning here from the last video, this is the computer I most recently built. And I said I was going to do some testing on it. If you're new here, well, stay tuned. This is a 7900X from AMD. Their CPU, I've installed the 3070Ti in it, just so you know. And um, we're going to do some testing. We're going to do temps. We're going to do some gaming. Whatever I can come up with, we're going to see it in this video. And uh, since nobody asked for anything, like I mentioned in the previous video, well, I'm just going to have to do what I can. And then if I miss anything, well, you'll have to let me know and I'll see if I can get back to you. Or put it in the comments and I'll answer you there. So let's get going. Uh, I'll be using OBS to record this and uh, capture as much as I can, FPS. I'm going to be doing this in 4K since I have the 3070Ti and see what our frames per second are. Uh, just as one thing that it uh, captures. All right, so here we go. Okay, so we're going to start off with the ADA64. We're going to run the stress the CPU, FPU, the cache, memory. Not so worried about the GPU right now. I'll do that later. Um, so we're going to start it off and let it run. Right now, of course, it was at 40, uh, up to 48 at different times and a low of 29. Once the 100% kicks in, you can see it's already gone up to 85 degrees. And the most I got when I ran this before was about 87 degrees, which I was expecting it to be about 95. So I'm going to let it run for at least five minutes, maybe longer, and we'll come back. And uh, yeah, we'll see what we got. So for those that are wondering, our utilization is at 100%. So that's where it shows you right here. When we're not stressing it, it goes all the way to the bottom. So 100% utilization using all cores to get what temperature we're going to get at. Right now we're sitting pretty steady at 84. I expect it will get to 87. That's what I was getting before. Um, but, you know, we'll have to see now that the system's been up and running for a little bit and I've done some tweaks whether it goes beyond that. It's supposed to go to 95. But every now and then you get lucky. You get uh, where they do the what they call the silicon lottery and you get a chip that runs a little bit lower in temperatures. I don't think I'm that lucky, but we'll find out. So again, we're only up to 85, and we're at just a about minute and a half, thereabouts. And it just keeps fluctuating up and down. So for this to be the 7900, running with the 3070Ti, I'm pretty impressed, to be honest. Okay, so we've reached the 5-minute mark, and it's gone between 86 and 85, pretty much regularly, back and forth, back and forth. Um, the last time I did this, it did hit, oh, there we go, we hit 87. And that's pretty much where it stayed. It didn't go any higher. Okay, we're going to do some more testing now. Okay, I wanted to add a little something different to this. So I went over to the statistics. Now, I've uh, not started the test again. I'm going to do that right now. So I want to show you once it's up and running and it's being stress test, what happens to our voltages, uh, the method reward CPU temperature is right here. Um, that's our operating system that it's running from. And this is just a PCIe uh, 3.0 Gen 3, so just to keep that in mind. So here's all the information here, all our CPU core clocks, what they're going at, and uh, yeah, and our averages. So I wanted to add that in there as well, and just to show you uh, the different features. So I'm going to let this run a little while longer, going to do this test over again, and we're just going to come back and show you what it gets to. So something else I want to point out is, of course, our CPU core is running at 3.3 volts, okay, plus 5 volts, plus 12 volts. These are all just different voltages that are running. Our CPU package, and again, all our uh, CPU cores, all right. Just, and this fact that the CPU utilization is running at 100%, all right. So it's full out. That's telling you what it's doing, what it's at, and of course our CPU cooling fans from our radiator are running at this speed. See? So that's just good information in case you're wondering what it needs to be. And again, the AIO I'm using is a 360 uh, Pure Loop FX2 from Be Quiet. And uh, yeah, just wanted to show you that, a little bit extra information. So we're at the two minute mark right now. And our temp is at 86, and that's probably where it's going to stay 
like I say, 85, 86 seems to be where it fluctuates. And, uh, yeah. Okay, so we've hit the five minute mark. The max it's got to, like I say, is uh, 87. And it has never gone above that. Uh, you can see everything fluctuating here. And our quarter clock speeds. All right. Pretty impressive if you ask me. Anyway, we are going to stop this and move on to something else. Okay, so I thought I'd go in here and start off running some DirectX Ultimate Benchmark for gaming PCs. This is using 3D Mark. You can see my system here. Okay, it also has Radeon graphics, which I'm not using, but I'm using this one on top, the 3070Ti. This is our processor, the speeds, everything like that, and of course our uh, M.2 drive. So we're going to start off running this one, and uh, we'll see what happens. So of course, that's what it always starts with. This will happen every time you run this. It will collect your system information just in case anything has changed, and then it will run. We'll come back when we get to the results. Okay, so I just wanted to show you this. They estimated the game performance based on Battlefield 5. 1440p ultra at 120 plus fps now this is testing our graphics okay i just wanted to mention that because i don't think i said uh, what it's actually doing okay so my score is 3289 average it's 3739 and the best is 3830 now you can run it again it's probably not going to change that much and it gives you your gpu information uh this display it's running at okay Display number two, which I'm not using. Uh, it is running, but it just doesn't really factor in. And our processor. And it basically gives you your graphics score. Okay, so speed right here. We'll do your gaming, your GPU. Benchmark that for you. We want to do the CPU. CPU profile. So benchmarks for modern processors, which this definitely is. So we're going to run this. And uh, it's going to go through all this collecting system information, all that kind of good stuff. We'll let this run, and I will come back near the end. I'll show you a little bit of it, but uh, mostly it's just going to be coming back near the end to show you the results. So here we go. Otherwise, all these different tests will make the video just too long, and you'll stop watching. So right now it's running a 3D Mark Max Threads test. Okay, and here's our results. So as you can see on the top, we have our max threads, our score there, 16 threads, 8 threads, 4, 2, 1. Alright, so the green bar shows how your score compares with the best score for your CPU. The marker shows the median score for your CPU, and the gray section shows the overclocking potential. Okay, so just to give you all that information. And down here, you can see the clock frequencies. Okay, I'm just going to go across show you a couple of different ones and CPU temperatures uh, what they got to. I'm not sure where that shows up. It doesn't seem to just tell me anywhere here. So let's scroll down and see what else we got. So we have our graphics card our CPU and oh here we go down to the bottom. So max threads average simulation time per frame okay you can see it all here 16 threads, 2 threads all right but what are our temperatures? 77.38 degrees. And that's about the highest one, actually. So, you know, pretty good. And let's go down below. More frequencies. So, overall, temperatures are staying really well. And uh, it's performing as I would expect. So, let's see if we can do some more testing as well. So, something I will show you here just real quickly. Uh, the fact that when you're running the 3070 Ti with this CPU, okay, a 3840 by 2160 resolution, using most of the memory I have in the system, we're getting an average, and this is on 4K, all right, so an average of 58, a uh, max of 62, and a low of 39. Okay, so dropped here at some point. Um, well, I thought it dropped there. It looks like it's there, right there, 39. Not sure what happened there, but we got to have spikes and stuff. But anyway, I just thought you, I'd wanted to show you the um, how the CPU performs w with the graphics card, and uh, it's amazing. I had uh, 250 FPS on Uncharted, 
while playing the game. Uh, so just to, for those that might be interested. Okay, so I decided to download Cinebench R23. Right now I'm running the uh, multi-core. Okay, so that's going to go through. It's going to do a few passes and then we'll come back. Once we've done that, we'll do the single core as well and the MP ratio and we'll just see where we're setting. Right now, it looks we're setting at like the number two spot. Okay, so you can see that up on the screen there. So right over here, okay, the orange is us. So again, we're going to let this run and we'll come back after we have our scores. So for those of you not familiar with Cinebench, uh, on the top up here, it tells you how long it's running. It counts backwards from 10 minutes. So it's running a 10 minute multi-core test. It'll give us a result. Then we'll do the single core test and then it'll give us our ratio. All right. It's still using some pretty antiquated uh, CPUs from a while ago. Um, AMD's Threadripper 2990, we're sitting just under that which is at 30,000. So if we come even close to that, I'll be, uh, be pretty impressed actually. It says rendering at 28,305 points right now. So let's wait and see what we actually get for a final, uh, final result. Okay, so we got a CPU multi-core speed of 28,215 for points. I'm impressed. We're just below the AMD Ryzen Threadripper 2990WX, which is a 32 core processor. Okay, so this is our results here. Rendering at 28,215 points, 12 cores, 24 threads at 4.7 gigahertz. And now it says Windows 10, but I'm actually running Windows 11. Um, but that's pretty impressive. So we'll do the single core next and see what we get. Okay, so those of you not familiar, this is Cinebench R23. This tests the uh, processing speed of the CPU. So we've already run the multi-core, which ran at 28 to 15 points. Now we're running the single core. And this is basically seeing how quickly we can render. All right. Now our single core came up at 28 to 15. Okay. For points, it's a 12 core, 24 thread running running at 4.7 gigahertz. Uh, that's the Ryzen 9 7900X 12 core processor running Windows 11, even though it says 10 here. Um, just so you know, and it runs for 10 minutes for each one. So the multi core runs for 10 minutes, and the single core will run for 10 minutes as well. We're well into uh, most of it here. We got five minutes and 40 seconds left or thereabouts. And we'll have the single core and then we'll see how everything goes. Oh, okay. I see what it's doing. So it's telling me I rendered at 28, 215 for the multi-core. Right now the single core is at 2023. Okay, that makes a little bit more sense. And I suspect that's probably where it's going to end off. Uh, a 10 minute timer has actually stopped. But it's still rendering that last uh, go around. So when that's done, we'll verify that uh, the uh, 2023 is where it sets at. Okay, so our final result is 2025. All right, and our MP ratio is 13.93. All right, so that's the only other task really I can think of to do. If I come up with something else, well, you'll see it here in the video. So temperatures are great. Uh, I've done gaming with it. It runs amazing. Um, never had any issues. Um, everything is running at 4K. Of course, with the graphics card being as good as it is, and with the system now being as good as it is, uh, there's no bottlenecking, anything like that. So it's pretty good. Okay, so we're going to play some Legacy of Thieves. This is just going to show how the system works. Uh, it's going to be running in 4K. And um, basically it's going to showcase the graphics card and the CPU working together, our, our FPS at 4K. So we'll play a little bit and uh, hope you enjoy. Okay, well, 
that was fun, so we got to find another way to get up there, I guess. I don't know if I can climb up that or not. No. Alright, so we're going to winch our way up. I've done this once before, so... I don't know how to do that. Here we go. E. I'm going to pick it up. Go around. And E again. Alright. And let's go in. Oh, we're going to pull it backwards. That's it. Come on, come on! One down, one to go. Yep. Pull the boat down, then we can drive up. Well, that's kind of a neat way to get up there. In case anybody's playing this and hadn't seen that before. You don't want to be too close, because if you're too close, it uh, doesn't let you choose the, uh, the winch. Hey, okay, back up. And... Come on. E. And back in. And back again. Ha ha! Again with the winch, Sully. Pretty handy, right? I wasn't against getting the winch, I was against getting ripped off. Alright. That is how you get up. And there doesn't seem to be any other way. Hmm. I guess we're going this way. Why does it look like we're not going where I think I need to go? Hmm. Alright, well. Sully, just how well do you know Nadine? Why? I was thinking maybe you can contact her, convince her to call off her goons. <laughs> yeah, right. What if we promise her a bigger cut than rape? No, that's not how she operates. She's more of a money up front kind of mercenary. The so rape's got the advantage there. How do you go find more bad look, ones? Oh, look at shoreline. That. Yeah, they're definitely going all in, aren't they? And getting awful close to that volcano. I was thinking the same damn thing. Mm. They found the treasure already. Well, look, they're searching every inch of this place. If they'd found it already, they wouldn't be searching. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you're right. That little ruin. That's where we're going. Hey, Sam. You don't mind me asking, how'd you pay? I Hey, you think that old building's worth checking out? Yep. I mean, you see how nice that is. Had a couple stutters, but again, we are at 4K. So, all right, that's it. We're not going to continue on this right now. All we really want is this right here. View the details of Razor Cortez. So it shows me my graphics card, my processor, we're running at 4K. We went on average 36 frames per second, down to the minimum of 9, and we were even hitting 187 at some point. So that's probably right up here somewhere. Or not. Somewhere in here. But anyhow, that's the max that we can hit. Where 36 looks like it was what we were getting. I just wanted to show you a little bit of gaming because I mentioned it at the start. Hi everybody, so that's it. I wanted to do a little bit of gaming, show you that, show you the temps, show you some Cinebench, uh, stress testing with Ada64, all that kind of good stuff. Uh, show you how the games run, running full out, 4K, everything like that, with the 3070 Ti and that nice beast I got now. Um, if you like the video, hit that like. If you don't, well, leave me a comment. Hit that bell for notifications. And if you're new here, think about subscribing. Tell me what you like, what you don't like. And I'll see what I can come up with for another video. Thank you for watching. Much appreciated. Take care.